Wrong question. Wrong question. Wrong question. Hey, Wes, how am I going to do it? How do I make millions? How do I become financially secure? How do I elevate my family's life by getting myself in a position financially that cures this constant desire to be in a better place? You don't chase money. You have to ask yourself this question. Who do I need to become to attract millions of dollars? Not how do I make a million? How do I make millions? I was standing down here the other day in a grass field where they have a bunch of food trucks right by my house, San Diego, the harbor right here by the Intercontinental Hotel. Now, there's a roundabout right there where there was a, a limo driver. He was in like a black SUV, probably driving successful people. I drove up in the Cullinan, the Rolls. Everybody has to watch me drive up and park in this roundabout. And then I just go to get my wife food. Now, the guy comes over into this area filled with three to 400 people mobbing around. And he just says, how do I do it? I said, what are you talking about? He's like, what do I need to do? Out of all these people, he chose me to ask advice from. How many people a day come up to you and ask you for advice? Now you're worth money. They're seeking you out from what you've obviously done. And you are your greatest billboard. Because he wasn't looking at the Cullinan. He was looking down at his gut and his tits. And he was thinking about how this year, Wes, I'm not going to be that man hiding with my shirt on at the pool. Embarrassed to be around my family. And that's what people aren't getting. You need to be undeniable and unapologetic if you want to be the CEO. If you want to sell and you want a brand, you have to be unapologetic and undeniable. Look at your top people, Brad Lee, Andy Frazella, Gary V. Look at these guys. How do they speak? Do they ask you for approval or do they tell you? Do they tell you or do they ask you? You guys are too afraid to have people disagree with you that you don't stand behind anything so you can't teach them. Their biggest downfall is the fact that they can't stick to nothing. Why can't they stick to nothing? Because they don't stand their ground on shit they know feels right and works. They're, they're pliable. They're followers. They do what everyone else around them is doing when they should do what they feel is right and stick to it. Everybody wants that championship, but they ain't practicing enough. If you want to be good on camera, if you want to be physically fit, if you want to be undeniable, you have to have the appearance, the ability, and the fucking, the, the fucking actions of someone who can get, have a blueprint slapped down in front of them and pull it off. So in all reality, you can crush it in anything you do if you just don't opt out of the tasks that need to be done and hold yourself to a high level of understanding. So in this fucking whole grass field of people, this man came up to me for life advice. Why? Why? Because he was honest. He wanted what I had. People want what you have, but a lot of them are dishonest and you have the internet fooling you. A bunch of fucking lames who really want your position and want to be like you, they talk shit because what you have, they want, and they're in deficit of. Their deficiency in the area that you're excelling in hurts them, so they hate. And then you're too pussy to stand your ground. Stand your fucking ground. Stick to your core beliefs. Really push what worked for you on people. This is a mirror, motherfucker, like Pedro said. It's not a window, it's a mirror. If it fucking worked for you, it'll work for them. Do you get that? Okay? That's what I did. I got myself in top tier shape. And then I taught people to do the same by telling them, no, motherfucker, you're not going to do what you think. What you think got you where you're at. What I know got me where I'm at. You're going to do this. And by me standing my ground and telling them firmly, this is what the fuck works. I had the best transformations on the internet in the shortest amount of time 
because I got people to really follow what they knew I believed in and lived and that gave me my results. I didn't placate them and tell them, oh, it's going to be easy. It's going to be this. You could do whatever you want. You could eat however you want. I told them that sacrifice creates paradise. I told them that you're going to validate yourself more by doing what's hard. I gave them the real self-talk, the real insight that really got me there. Because I really reflect and really understand what really built me was them words I speak to myself inside. Motherfucking cupcakes out here don't realize that everything they're doing is having them not take the stage. They're not the motherfucker who walks in the room and says, here I am, motherfucker. They're the motherfucker who walks in the room and says, oh, there you are. I need assistance with something. Don't be that motherfucker for too long. You're going to have to be that motherfucker at the start. I was that guy when I walked into prison. I didn't know anything. It was bullshit because I was used to running shit in my life. Hustling on the street, never having a job in my life. Hustling, running shit, running shit, okay? And then I go into prison and other people are running shit wrong. And I got to listen and I got to question until I worked my way up the ladder. Four or five years in, I was always having the keys to every block that I was at because I just understood it deeper because I saw the flaws in what everyone else was doing. Quit walking in the room year after fucking year after fucking year and saying, there you are, stand the fuck up, learn new shit every year, apply yourself every fucking day and walk in the room and say, nah, you're doing it wrong. Here the fuck I am. I speak better. I look better. I tried harder and it's because I don't have an ego. I spoke every day. I trained every day. Everything I've created, I did every day. So I got better. You believe you're better with no work put in. Who has the ego, motherfucker? The guy who knows he's got to work every day or the guy who thinks he's inherently gifted? Shut the fuck up and put the work in to be exactly who you want to be. And you'll thank your big Uncle Wes later. You'll be like, holy shit. In the last three years, my shit has changed so crazy. Everywhere I go, everyone seems like they just can't even comprehend what they're fucking doing. And I see the ins and outs because success leaves clues. And by mastering each day, you become successful. So to answer your question, how do you make millions? You become undeniable and unapologetic and you take any room you're in because you obviously see the answers. You own the answers. You have them. And you fucking applied them and got results, significant results. You're not just surviving out here. You're thriving, motherfucker. If I hear one more motherfucker try to give advice and then you go to his page and his life sucks and he doesn't understand that, it, I swear, it just, it fucking, it's mind boggling to me. Even out front of my gym, you hear guys talking. They know so much. But they haven't changed in years, their physique, and they're still pulling up in that shit bucket. How do you know so much and it ain't working? Just tell us you're not doing it then. Tell us you're not fucking doing it then. To know and not to do is not to know, motherfucker. So quit talking until you have the fucking results. I know you guys are capable of more. So I hold you to more. That's a friend, motherfucker. Your friends expect more of you. Wes is your friend. I'm going to be here with you till the fucking end. Let's go.